Welcome back. This is such an easy recipe and it's hard not to be a favorite. Tonight, or today rather, we have Feed Your Family Tonight founder and family dinner coach Marie Feebach showing us how to make, this is cheeseburger baked potatoes. I love this idea, Marie. This is awesome. And that this is one of my favorite yeah. recipes of all time because it's so simple and it is really pleasing. I like to take this to like families when they've had a baby or something because it's naturally gluten free. It's easy to make dairy free. It works with the picky kids because it's all separate and it just starts with <laughs> baking a potato. And okay. in my house, I have to do part sweet potatoes, part russet potatoes because I've got families that are picky. Oh my goodness, with, divided. Right, with the <laughs> potatoes, you wanna make sure that you poke holes in the skin because otherwise the potato will explode. I've talked about this before. It's right. really important. With the sweet potatoes, now we've talked about this. There are two different size potatoes sure. and they take longer. These little small ones will cook about the same size as a big russet, okay. but the larger ones, you want to um, poke and put them in the microwave for five minutes before you put them in the oven. And that way everything is done at about the same time. Nice. It's about 450 degrees for about 45 minutes for an average size russet potato and that'll get them all crispy mm. and then let's talk about a better way to brown hamburger i need to learn this tip here you say this, it, what do we do okay first thing is you start with a cold pan okay so your pan is not hot and you want to smush the beef or you can do this ground turkey ground chicken kind of get it into like a flat disc in the middle of the pan and then turn the pan on high okay and leave it alone Okay. okay, that's going to be the hard thing, isn't that it? That is the hard thing. I've got to make sure I've got the right burner, right burner here. Right. You got okay. it. Okay, so you turn it on high, leave it alone, sprinkle one teaspoon of coarse sea salt per pound. So mm -hmm. this is one pound, so I have one teaspoon of salt. Got if it. you have two pounds, you do two teaspoons of salt. And then just a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now what's going to happen, and this takes a while. When I tested it yesterday on a little portable burner, it took almost 12 minutes. Okay. So on this burner, it probably won't take that long but leave it alone until it is brown, brown, brown on the bottom. It's got a nice, thick, hard crust. Okay. And then you flip it and it only takes like a minute to cook the other side because it's mostly cooked the way through. Mm. And then you can break it into smaller pieces. And what that does is that adds flavor sure. because all of that browning is that Malheur reaction and you're mm. getting deeper flavor. To that, once you've flipped it, you're going to add one onion. Now, you can chop the onion, or my kids don't like big pieces of onion. They kind of wriggle. Right, I get it. So I pureed this in my, in my blender. You can do it in your food processor. I've even done it in like my smoothie stick blender. Oh, really? Oh, and wow. you're gonna add this after it's all browned, and you're going to um, let this kind of cook. And then if it starts getting um, dry, Okay. You can add just a little bit of water and kind of scrape up the brown sure. bits on the pan. And what you end up with is this ground beef that has this onions and it almost has you kind can't of like tell a the sauce. onions are in there. No. no, you can't tell the onions are in there. And then you just put it on top of your potato. This is a baked sweet potato that I had. Mm -hmm. Again, you can do it with the russets too. And then I like to top it with a little bit of cheese and that makes it the cheeseburger. And then any of your favorite Topping. So this is pickles. Sometimes um, I'll put even like some little onions, some purple onions. You can right. put tomatoes, you can put ketchup or mustard on top of it. And you have this wonderful, super easy, super filling dinner. It's a great way to kind of stretch a pound of hamburger too. Sure. Because you can, you know, feed several people. You don't need a, as big of a serving of hamburger. And it's just a delicious, simple, easy meal for busy families. And it could be great because I'm sure some people might have a big bag of potatoes they bought that were on sale for Thanksgiving. And you're wondering, what am I going to do with all this extra stuff? And this is way, or if you run out of uh, hamburger buns, as we do that all the time. Yeah. We're like, we want to have a hamburger night, but we can't. You guys are not buns. This could be an alternative. Exactly. Or if you're trying to not out. eat bread or gluten, this is kind of a nice way to have you get that taste and feel of a cheeseburger without having all the bread. So I love it. You are so creative. This is great. It just gets you kind of thinking about something else, especially if you like to have a baked potato, but maybe you don't want to put chili or just plain cheese on top of it or sour cream. You have this other option too. So uh, for people, I think it's really good to have. Uh, 
I want to direct them to your Facebook group because yes. your group is just so fantastic. I, I love just the conversations that I, I'm a part of the group that we all have yes. on there because it's so good to bounce ideas off of each other. Let's talk about that. Uh, where can we find you all and what's going on on there? I'm everywhere at Feed Your Family Tonight. Go to facebook.com slash Feed Your Family Tonight and click the join group button. There are a wonderful group of people, a lot of cake viewers there. Yeah. and. We help each other, we share ideas, and really work on getting dinner on the table with ease because it doesn't have to be complicated. We're heading into a busy season, Annette, and now's the time to kind of slow down a little bit and get ready for the season that's coming. That's what I'm gonna be talking about this week is getting ready for the season that's coming. And again, perfect idea. It's something really simple for dinner night. I mean, tossing the potato in the oven and then just this one skillet concept basically of going and moving forward, getting everything down and ready for everybody very fast. Marie, thank you for joining us today, absolutely. Oh, thanks so much for having me, Annette. I always love being here. Awesome, well, we'll be right back with more right here on Good Morning Cake Land. Stay with us, everybody.